the conversations we had in the early days were, were not about NFTs and, and when a token was going to go up or down. There were no tokens going up and down. I mean, there really, we were trading Bitcoin on spreadsheets. Okay, people were using PayPal accounts to run exchanges. This was a very wild time. There were a lot more conversations about philosophy, a lot more conversations about technology and uh, capabilities. And it was a, it, it's an era that's gone now in Bitcoin, but it's still present in Ergo. And I really miss it because it was fun, you know, and it was exciting and, and everybody was very friendly and open. And so I, I truly do uh, uh, love that. Now, we still learn, like we learned a lot from extended ETXO from you guys, because you were a little ahead of us, uh, especially expressive in this yeah. language. And we're also now looking at some of the Sigma protocol ideas and seeing what can be done there. There's a lot of really cool things we're doing um, with Mithril that I think may be quite useful to you guys. Um, you know, you guys, I think, are you, did you implement NEPA POWs into Ergo yet? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, fully implemented. And that's that's something we try to get into Bitcoin for like six years. <laughs> it didn't happen. It's not going to happen. And NEPA POWs are great. And actually, it's, it's so exciting to see something that's on a paper, you know, work its way into a protocol and see the consequences, positive and negative of, of that uh, and how the ecosystem uses it. So it's it's just great to have ecosystems like Ergo around and, and they're so wonderful. And if all cryptocurrencies were like this, I think the space would be significantly further ahead. Uh, and overall, uh, people would be uh, people be a lot happier. It wouldn't be so stressful being a cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you touched on on uh, kind of ecosystem evolution, right? And what could have been, what should have been, and uh, what basically Ergo can become. And so, a question that we ask uh, get asked a lot in the community, and this is something the community has been discussing a lot, is, and in your opinion, when Ethereum goes proof of stake, uh, they say this summer, and maybe uh, <laughs> does uh, soon, yeah, so, soon exactly <laughs> very soon. When Ethereum goes uh, proof of stake, is Ergo likely to absorb most of the hashing power? And with Cardano's focus on energy efficiency, does Charles think POW is a hindrance for adoption of Ergo? You want to take a question about Ergo absorbing the uh, Ethereum? Uh, the hash power. I guess that's uh, highly possible because, uh, well, uh, other competitors uh, uh, are basically. Uh, 